Okay, a bolt just fell off. That doesn't make me feel good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today going to be heading out to Stave Lake. That was from my one of my previous videos where I was testing my skills out. They had a big dirt area there, so I'm going to check out some more trails around there and maybe play in that dirt pit again. And that's about a 40 kilometer drive. Unfortunately, that's how far I have to go to just to get down to some dirt. So we got a beautiful sunny day. And now some squirrels are going crazy. All right, let's hit the road. So I was talking last time about how far you could go. So this tank's 16 liters. And I was at 200K. And I put in 11 liters, so I had 5 liters in reserve. So I don't know if I could get another 100k out of that. So 300k maybe if I was really economical with the throttle. But if you're doing off-road stuff where you're constantly changing gears and throttling up and down, then maybe you could push it for 250. So right now I've got 30k into the new tank, 40k ride, so I'll be at 70k, so I should be good for what I'm going to be doing off-road today. And as usual, I gotta stop because I forgot to put my earplugs in. Happens just about every time. got the uh, top box off on the back just got a backpack so I'll give it a try see how that works out if I don't drop the bike today we'll know it's because of the top box There it is, Stave Lake. We got a dam, a lake, and a dirt road. That's the Stave Flats, Stave Lake Flats when the water's out. You can do all kinds of dune bugging and dirt biking on it. Mud bogging. It 
it's a Sunday today, so it's busy. Normally I try to stay away from the weekends. But it just worked out that I could get out today. All right, so down that road is a gate. Let's go up that road. A little narrower, steeper. Let's see what happens. I don't know what happened there. Must have kicked a rock out or something. All right. Huh? This one does not look like an easy lift. Okay, a bolt just fell off. That doesn't make me feel good. Mystery. Hopefully that bolt was from nothing critical. Looks like a new bolt. So I'm assuming it's from one of the parts that I added on after. Maybe it's not even mine. Maybe somebody else crashed here too. Let's get this thing turned around and see if I can keep going.
Hmm. Well, I may not be going on. If I can't figure out the clutch. Can't get it into first for some reason. Oh, that sucks balls. Well, let's head down and see if it works itself out. I'm hoping I left my phone uh, at home because it's not in my pocket. Well, no first gear for now. Twenty kilometers in. This isn't good. Now I can't even get it into out of fifth. Uh oh, cargo crazy. So it was a weird little clunky thing. For a while I was stuck in fourth gear. Now I can easily upshifts. But if I just push on it, it does some weird thing and it's clunky. And I still can't get into first. But at least I'm not stuck in fifth. Fourth was bad enough. Hopefully I can self fix and not have to take it to the shop. I sure hope my phone's sitting in the garage. I don't see how I could have lost it. Being in my pocket, and these pockets are so tight, I can barely get my hands in. So once the phone's in, it's not coming out. It definitely wasn't where I crashed. So it didn't just bounce out. So I had to have forgotten it. All right, back home. I give this thing a wash, try and figure out what went wrong. And look, there's my phone. Now I remember it fell. All right, the first thing I'm going to try is just to pry it out because it looks like the uh, the arm was bent in a little bit. <clears throat> I'm just going to try prying it a bit. Okay, pry, pry, straighten it out. All right, <clears throat> looks a little bit straighter. Let's uh, give it a test. That's all it was, just a bent shifter. All right, luckily that was an easy fix. I still haven't figured out where that bolt's from. I'm gonna have a look around. Maybe next time I'll share that with you if I ever find it. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. I did find where the missing bolt was from, as I suspected. It's from the uh, crash bars, right at the very top. It looks like there's two bolts missing. So I obviously lost one at some point, and then the other one came out on the last dump. Mystery solved. That's all it was. Just a bent bar. Just a bent 